Um, it's early in the morning and it's incredibly foggy this morning. You see that behind me? Like, you can see a little distance, but not too terribly far. And there's a lot of fog sitting on the ridge right behind the back of my place here. And I thought this was a great time to make a point and to teach you something. And that is around clarity and confusion. Confusion is like this fog. It gets in the way and keeps you from seeing what you need to see to move forward. You know how when you're driving through a really foggy place, you turn your lights on in your car and that can help some and depending on the fog, it still might be really hard to see. Well, same kind of thing is going on here as you can see. Uh, it's really foggy. You can see a little ways, but not very long. So confusion is your enemy. When you're confused, you're going to feel stuck. You're going to feel unsure of what to do next. Confusion shows up in a lot of different ways. It could show up like you just kind of hanging out on Facebook and looking at a lot of random videos. Uh, I'll be really honest. That's what I tend to do when I'm not really sure what I need to do next. Um, sometimes I will go do that. <laughs> it's a procrastination tool. Uh, and I catch myself doing that and go like, okay, what am I unsure about? What am, what am I feeling stuck about? Let me, get, let me get that handled so I can move on and be productive. Um, confusion also is going to steal your focus and your attention. So it can show up with shiny ball syndrome. You know, when, you, when you're like, working on one thing and then you go oh man there's this cool new thing and I want to try it out and you jump onto that and that steals your focus away from what you should be doing probably the biggest contributor to confusion is not having clarity when you have no clarity around your goals so when you don't have a fundraising goal you don't have an impact goal of how many people you want to serve or how many lives you want to impact um, when you have no clarity around um, who you're serving or what your programs are, that's when it's really easy to bounce around and go from one program to the next and you get mission creep and it's really awful. So how do you combat confusion? How do you get that clarity? Number one, you got to hit the pause button and give yourself time to think. If you're, if you're moving way too fast through life, you're moving too fast through work, you're not going to give yourself the time to think about what you want, what the results are that you're looking for from the particular activity that you're doing or for the programs that you want to deliver. So number one is you got to give yourself time to think. Number two, you might need a mentor or a coach. You need somebody to bounce those ideas off of. You know that old saying, you can't see the forest for the trees? It's really true. None of us can see the whole picture when they're right in the middle of the situation. So get yourself somebody who can help you clarify what you're trying to do and that's going to really help you. Alright, so I hope you've learned something from this. Get yourself some clarity. Hit that pause button long enough to think. Find somebody who can help you clarify what you're trying to do and I suspect that your fundraising results will increase. If you want more tips on fundraising, we're getting clarity. You can go check out our blog at getfullyfunded.com slash blog or visit our YouTube channel at uh, getfullyfundedtv.com. See you there.